Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. We've got a 2014 shiny clean. Last of the best, but maybe someone's worked on it, because have a listen to that. Have a bit of a look-see-looksie look -see under the bonnet. Everything seems to be sanding all right with the bonnet open. What's going on here? What's the extra bolts and nuts? That's bloody dodgy what's going on there, mate. Come on. It has got a bit of a roughness to it. Let's go and have a look at the kilometres and the diagnostic tool. It's got a story to tell. All right, kilometres. 131,000 k's only. Oh, I hear that rattle. Have a look at the scan tool. Have a look at number four. Whoa! <laughs> look at it jumping up and down all over the joint. Now, diagnostics, it's not always as simple as it seems, and that's why we're doing this video. Because there's a whole lot of factors. These later vehicles. September 09 onwards, very difficult to diagnose when there is a problem. Okay. Injection volume is low for this vehicle. Right? This is an engine that isn't fully warmed up yet. That the volume should be high and it's going to come down when it... Well, look at that! 4.88! And in the 5. So we have a problem, Houston! Okay, so this video will be short, but don't go anywhere yet. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on. And if you want to learn more about the diagnostic side of it, you need to study our diagnostic playlist. What's it called? I think it's probably called Injector Diagnostics. Or di check out those playlists on our channel. But I hope you're watching what's going on here. What coolant temp have we got? Can you slide that please, mate, so we can just show everyone the coolant temp? It uh, hasn't been running long, five minutes. You can see the temperature there. Let's get the coolant temp. We're coolant temp's 51. Let's have a look at the load for a moment. Oh my God, look at that. That is terrible. Now, oh, some people seem to think that the load needs to be something specific. Like, you know, this, there's different vehicles, auto or manual. There's the early Hiluxes, the later Hiluxes, the later, later Hiluxes, and the 120 Protos and the 150, and it's all different. I'm not ex gonna explain it in this video, but this vehicle here, we, I would like to see at least 12, normally around the 15, and up to about 18 is what I'd say is okay from seeing many of these. But a cold engine should have a higher load reading, and this engine, it's bloody going down to 7 on the load, mate. So it's jumping on and off and looking at the load reading, which I always say is one of the most important readings. If you see this going on, you've got a problem, and you really want to get to it before you see this, and a lot of people... They aren't going to notice this. Because let's go back out here again. Oh, it runs beautiful, mate. There's nothing wrong with it. Look at it. It's just humming. It's just per, you know. Don't get excited now and go buy some injectors because there isn't any. I've told you about this. Don't buy them somewhere else. You'll probably get that remanufactured stuff. Counterfeit copies. What have we got here? Look at this. Oh, somebody's had the after show while they're working on the car. Mate, that looks like the top of a bottle of uh, Zhuk to me. No, I don't know what it is really, but <laughs> that, whoa, whoa, it looks like something like that anyway. We'll uh, move that to the side. Anything else? Any tools? Okay, so even if you've seen my videos, don't work on vehicles unless you've got the patience and you can take the time and care to make sure it's done right. Now, this one, someone's worked on it before because you can see this boat's moved and hey, look at that, loose. You've got to be aware of these things. The reason there's a problem with this vehicle, which there shouldn't be, it should be otherwise bulletproof. And mate, can you please check for me what the units is, what month they need before we can provide the information? I'm pretty sure it was a 14. But only, this is a full DLC, and if somebody hadn't touched it, November 13, close enough, right? If somebody hadn't touched it, we wouldn't be here now, okay? Somebody's going to have had the fuel pipes off, contamination, this sort of thing, right? can't see a lot of evidence of it yet. We need to get in and do an injector replacement job 
to be able to know if someone's been in here. But what I'm demonstrating out here for a moment, What I'm trying to demonstrate is, hear that knocky noise? A lot of people are going to think that's a diesel and it's running fine. This engine isn't running fine. The client's brought it in specifically for a transmission flush, a transfer case oil change, and a full vehicle inspection, including the diagnostic. That's what we're doing. This one, it isn't right. It should be right. There's going to be a reason why it's not right. Yeah, I saw that. You like that? Yeah. Love that yeah. engine. I wasn't pushing there now. I think, see, look, look, see, it's jumping around. You see, I need to stand still. Every now and then it does this stuff. There it is. Look at it. Like a misfire, right? Guys, I've explained it before. Guys and girls. 5% girls, right? You're not alone, girls. Look, you know, you better tell your friends because this is where the girls can get to learn about how to look after their vehicles, where to go, where not to, so you don't get ripped off. Just like the guys, right? Right here. This is a live one. One that really, oh, look, it just runs so well, doesn't it? No, it's not. I wish I had this phone in a tripod. Telephone camera at the moment, right? Bang. This is an engine. It's really simple. It's got four cylinders. Boom, boom, boom. Everything that controls how this runs and if there's a misfire, almost everything is injector related, these four things. My money's on someone's been in there, they've bent the pipes, contamination to the injectors, whatever the case may be. Or something else, it could be something else, right? But this is the hard part. Without a full investigation, stripping the engine down, full readings on everything, you don't know. So my guess would be, given it's seven years old, I would have liked to get more out of these injectors, but, you know, I don't know that there's anything else. Look, he's done an EGR clean himself. I'm not sure if he did, the, I don't think he did the manifold and all that sort of thing, otherwise we'd probably see some more evidence. I don't think the pipes have been off when he did that, but he did say that it's been running not as good, or it's been a bit noisier since, so there's a possibility have a look, let's just muck around, this is all like, almost like live, let's check these wires, I'm just, I'm just having a play with them, in case there's any broken wires, because when people work on vehicles, right, and let's just check all the plugs, I think the pump rail plug, make sure that looks right as well. I really think it's going to be a contamination issue and it's probably a coincidence. The problem we've got is we've been told that it's a bit noisier since he did the EGR clean. Now, I personally think that it's probably not something he's done the way the vehicle's behaving, but we're going to have to spend some extra time on this one and try and work out what it is or not waste time and get those injectors into it because he's purchased it recently. And peace of mind, we just don't know the history of it and he loves it. It's beautiful, mate, this thing. I'm telling you, look, have a look at this. Shiny, beautiful. Let's have a look inside again at that diagnostic tool and see if we can see it. Just remember the Ks, right? What is it? 131 only, right? Okay, we're gonna have a look, see what we got here. Uh, bang, we're looking at a few things here, but we're looking at the transmission temp because we want to warm up. I'm probably gonna drop this scan tool because it's just sort of, I don't know, it should be right. Okay, we're gonna look at a few things. Let's go back to the load again, see what it's doing now that it's now let me let me bring this down here, we'll see if this works out. Whoop, oh, here we go. Almost dropped it. Hang on, we'll spin that around. I just don't want to stop and edit the video guys. I want to show you what what actually happens here. So we're gonna look at the the load reading. It's just off its head, right? So Low, low, re low load readings are also a problem. So if yours is on 11 and you get new injectors and, uh, oh, it's on 15 or 17, good, because that's what it should be, right? Most common, as I've said in the diagnostic videos that a lot of you didn't bother watching, don't ask questions or think there's a problem if you haven't completed your education first. This is a problem, right? It's going down to eight, sevens. It's ridiculous. This is a problem, right? Load, we always, you know, talk about that. Let's have a look. We already talked about the injection volume. 
You know the vehicle details, you know the kilometres. You should know what it's meant to be. It shouldn't be dropping down to four point anything. This is gonna be a injector problem, okay? And I'm putting my money on. Oh look, it's given up. I was gonna say it's given up, it's just sitting on zero. Right, so injection volume too low on this one. Feedback values are pretty consistent. It looked like number four was the one that was jumping around the most. And you can see the main injection period. Look at going down to 328. I'm not, you know, looking at graphs or anything. My eyes and reaction time's pretty quick. That main injection period, 287. That is ridiculous. Get these injectors out. Change them. That's a video I'm out of here. Hope you learned something. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn the bell on. And go and check out those bloody playlists. And learn. Monday's parts day, by the way. Did you hear about the surcharge? So Monday's parts day. Text me for what you want in the morning from 8 a.m. 10% surcharge Tuesday, 20% Wednesday, 30% Thursday, 40% Friday, whatever it is, you get the drift and the dearest day is Sunday and you won't get a response on the weekend anyway. Thanks for watching guys, talk to you soon, see ya.